Good evening. Welcome to Jim Monday's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for August 13th to the 25th. Before we get started, this is an interesting map that's found today. This is a look at the smoke from the wildfires out west. It's reached the east coast. Even though low quantity, some areas have a little bit more, but this is a quick access that this um, smoke has traveled even further out into the Atlantic. Okay, we're going to get to our forecast now. We're going to look now at the period for August 13th to 17th, and this is what we expect the pattern to look like. We're going to have a ridge here in the west. We have an upper low here in the central southern plains, and also one in the Ohio Valley, Ohio Tennessee Valleys. And these will be, these areas of lows will be the focus of heavy precipitation through the period. And then we're going to have a trough that will dig into the north central plains and kick this thing out. And we're going to look that out on the ensembles, the ensemble means. Let me see if I have it here. Okay, here's the ensemble means. So we're going to go, here's the upper low here. And then it gets kicked out. Later in the period. Otherwise, we expect a ridge in the west, and there's a tendency for a trough in the east. Now we're going to take a look at the rainfall amounts for um, this region. We're looking here first at the. This is which map is this? The GFS. And I want you to take a look here Saturday. So you have pockets of heavy rainfall, heavy rainfall down here too. And then we go through the days, get to Monday. It's pretty heavy rain. We expect a heavy rainfall across the mid-Atlantic. And then we go into Tuesday and then, oops, maps get. And into Wednesday, we still have rain. We have rain here. So we're expecting pretty heavy rainfall. Now we're going to look at the European. And you can see we have heavy rain here. Not, we have a pocket of heavy rain just over um, the metro area of, of New Jersey. And then we go forward into days. This is next week. This is Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we have the upper trough begins to kick that out. Uh, also, during this period, expect mon monsoon activity will continue across the South Central Great Basin and the Rockies. August 16th to the 20th. Here we are at 16th to the 20th. And some of the models are indicating uh, flattening of the flow. You can see it here. And then we go through each day. Come to the 20th, and you can see we still have a large ridge here. And then we look at the rest of the models. See, they keep the westerlies to the north. However, other models keep the ridge trough configuration. So does the ensemble means. And we'll go back and look at those. The ensemble means, see, keeps a ridge here, trough here. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here and here. And I'll forecast anomalies of 4 to 12 degrees above normal. The highest anomalies will be in the west. Below normal temperatures are forecast here due to the clouds and precipitation. Forecast anomalies of 2 to 4 degrees below normal for precipitation. Calling for below normal precipitation for this region. And the probability of occurrence 45 to 55%. And then we have above normal precipitation forecast for all of this area here. Probability of currents is 45 to 55%. August 21st to 25th. Now we go um, into this period, we're seeing still a ridge here in the west. Some of it is pretty strong, as some of the models are indicating. We still have a trough here. And then we look at the other models, still kind of flattening of the flow. But what uh, 
backs up the trough in the east is a recurvature of the typhoon of the western Pacific. And also the ensemble means, we'll go back to those again. Ensemble means. That kind of like uh, supports like a ridge here and a little bit of a trough across this area here. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting above normal temperatures here. Forecast anomalies of up to 12 degrees above normal, below normal temperatures of forecast. Generally, um, I would say that doesn't look so good. We'll try with a black line. I would say um, probably west of that line, near normal here, forecast anomalies here would be about 2 to 6 degrees above normal, near normal here, due to clouds of precipitation. And for the precipitation forecast, I'm forecasting a little change in the precipitation anomalies. So that's a long range weather forecast discussion for August 13th to 25th. Thanks for coming to Jim Monley's World of Weather and have a good day.